好，二零三零第十六條 MC 咧就講翻實驗嘅第六步啦，就係、是、量度翻我哋嘅 DV 應變項嘅。咁啊，成條題目當然係考翻我哋對於應變項嘅定義啦。就係、是、喺個實驗當中咧，佢係隨住個獨立變項而改變嘅一個變項，亦都係喺實驗當中咧，我哋係量度嘅一個變項嚟嘅。咁而家佢就問你咯，哦，點樣量度啫嘛？咁題目就問咧，下面邊個方法係可以攞嚟量度到我哋呢個 DV 咧？咁啊，成個題目咧，阿 Amy 係想做乜嘢啊？佢係想揾下究竟邊一款嘅果汁咧，係能夠幫到佢做慢煮啊嘛。而呢啲果汁咧，入面係會有一啲蛋白酶，咁蛋白酶當然係消化蛋白質啦。咁所以啦，我哋就要去睇下，咦，邊款蛋白酶係好啲嘅話啦，自不然就係能夠消化到個蛋白，消化得好啲嘅。但係咩叫做消化個蛋白好啲咧？就係睇下下面一二三做一擊破咯喎。第一個咧，佢就講啦，喂，究竟要用幾耐嘅時間係令到個蛋白嘅立方咧係唔見咗咧？啊，咁呢個咧就係、是、一個正確答案啦。如果佢用短啲嘅時間就已經可以令到個蛋白個立方唔見咗嘅。咁呢個酶嘅活性咪就係越高囉。嗰隻果汁咪應該越好用啦，係咪？咩叫越好用啊？就係、是、越能夠令到啲肉呢去變得腍啦。去到第二呢，就係、是、喺一個特定時間入面呢，嗰、那個蛋白立方佢個形狀改變喎。嗱，呢一句呢就錯啦，因為蛋白立方嘅形狀呢嘅改變可以係不規則嘅，唔係從而啦，令到個結果呢係唔一定能夠公平地比較嘅。試幻想下，即使到頭來啦，我哋有兩個嘅蛋白立方，佢哋嘅形狀係一樣，但係其實唔一定講緊佢哋個酶嘅活性一樣嘅喎。點解啊？試幻想下，一個蛋白立方係係三角形，另一個都係三角形，不過啦，大家嘅大細係不一樣嘅。自不然啊，就應該係講緊呢一嚿消化得細粒啲嘅蛋白立方咧，嗰只果汁咧個酶嘅活性就會高一啲啦。喂，呢、这、一個雖然仲係三角形啫，喂咁，但係佢仲係咁大粒啊嘛，咁即係個酶嘅活性都唔係咁高啫，咁所以第二呢已經可以四 g o o d b y e 㗎啦，咁所以答案都呼之欲出呢，就係、是、B 㗎喇喎。睇埋第三句啦，第三句佢就講啦，喺特定時間入面呢，嗰、那個蛋白立方嘅重量改變，嗱、这、呢個咪正確囉，因為點解啊？越係細粒嘅話啦，就係、是、當個蛋白立方越係被消化得多，越係細粒嘅，佢個重量嘅下降都會大一啲噶嘛，亦都係代表住酶嘅活性咧係零舍高啦。咁呢條題目咧，我想講多一句嘅就係、是、咧，上次都有同學問㗎，喂咩叫 DV？ 咩叫 measurement of DV？ 嗱呢一樣嘢咧，其實個緣起咧係緣起於我哋個 SBA 嘅制度改革啊。因為 SBA 咧，佢將佢簡化咗好多，有一啲部分咧，佢係為咗去令到一啲能力較為弱嘅考生係容易啲去設計到個實驗咧，佢就將啲變數，其實唔淨止 DV 嘅 ，IV 都一樣嘅，佢仲有 manipulation of IV， 即係點樣去操控個 IV 嘅，咁樣咧佢就將。每個步驟咧拆得好細，問完你 DV 之後問就問你點樣量度，問完 IV 之後咧就問你點樣去控制操控佢，就令到大家覺得喂兩樣嘢係咪真係好有分別？都係嗰句啦，從科學探究嘅哲學嚟講咧 ，DV 唔使審嘅，一定係講緊你量度緊嗰個 ；IV 唔使審嘅，一定係講緊你改變緊嗰、那個。呢樣嘢冇得拗嘅，咁而家啦喺呢度題目個 DV 會唔會係講緊，例如嗰個酶嘅活性啊？嗱，酶嘅活性咧，你問我，我就會覺得係佢係個結果嚟嘅，佢個果嚟嘅，的確係佢係隨住咩而變啊？隨住嗰款果汁而變啦，或者隨住嗰個嘅温度而變啦，係咪正確嘅？但係問題就話你喺個實驗當中真正量度緊係乜嘢啊？你可以量度。究竟用幾耐嘅時間，嗰、那個蛋白立方會唔見咗？你可以量度喺一個特定時間底下嗰、那個重量嘅改變究竟係幾多？咁呢樣嘢你真係量度緊噶嘛？所以啦，其實當初 S B A 佢咁樣改制咧，係想令到大家應該係方便啲去理解個實驗，你將會做乜嘢，就唔係特登走去同你講啦。喂 ，D V 就係呢樣。measurement of DV 就係嗰樣，好似拆得好散咁。咁啊，因為根據科學探究嘅邏輯，根據一份 lab manual， 根據一個 lab report， 人哋就會問你：你讀緊乜嘢先得㗎？
係咯，我度緊嘅就係用幾耐時間，究竟個蛋白立方係唔見咗啊嘛？呢、这個咪你嘅 DV 咯，你咪計時間咯，哦十五分鐘、二十分鐘、誒半個鐘，咁但係點知到頭來咧就搞亂曬大家。一個少少嘅總結啦 ，SBA 咧就將個 DV 同埋量嗰度個 DV 啦 ，IV 同埋粗重嘅 IV 啦，就將兩樣嘢變成四樣嘢，咁啊成個出發點係好嘅，因為就將佢分層咗。啊，就幫到啲學生去理解下，究竟你嘅實驗章要做緊啲乜嘢？就唔好一味就去講啦。我哋要量度酶嘅活性，你知道酶嘅活性係個結果，不過你真係量度緊嘅呢，係用幾耐嘅時間，嗰粒蛋白會唔見咗？咁出發點係真係好嘅，但係點知出嚟嘅反效果呢，就係架床跌屋。反而搞到大家亂咗。Two two three question sixteen is still about the scientific investigation held up by Amy. So for the step six is about the measurement of the dependent variable. So for this question, so Shirley is asking us to recall the definition of the dependent variable, the variable that may change with the IV, and the variable to be measured in the scientific investigation. So which of the following can be used for measuring the dependent variable for this investigation? So we need to think about that. What is the rationale of Amy's investigation? She is going to find the suitable fruit juice for the slow cooking because in the fruit juice it may contain the protease, and the protease it will digest the protein, break down the proteins, and then she is finding the suitable fruit juice for the meat tenderizer to break down the proteins in the meat and make it softer. Therefore, she is going to look for the protease. The enzyme activity is higher, is better in the particular fruit juice. So, for the following measurement, so which of the following measurement can help her to find out the best fruit juice for the slow cooking? So, for the first method, is that the time taken for the disappearance of the egg white cube. This option is correct because the shorter the time taken for the disappearance of the egg white cubes, the higher the enzyme activity. Because the protease can digest the egg white, digest the proteins, and then it implies that the fruit juice may make the meat softer, may make the steak softer. And for option B, the change in the shape of the egg white cube after a fixed time. So this option is wrong. Because the change in the shape of the egg white can be irregular and make the result cannot be compared fairly. Imagine that even there are two pieces of egg white cube of the same shape, it cannot be concluded that the enzyme activity is the same. I give you the example is that one egg white cube is triangle shape and the other one is also triangle shape, but you can see that their size is different. So for this one, the smaller size. We can say that or、oh, after a fixed time, it is in triangle shape, but the size is smaller. Also for this one, the shape is also triangle, but it, the size is bigger.、So、we may conclude that the fruit juice, ah,、uh, digesting the egg white to become this smaller triangle, so the enzyme activity should be higher. So you see that we are really comparing should be the size, but not the shape, right? So that's why number two is wrong, 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 wrong. So you can see that the final answer must be B. So let's take a look at option B. The change in the weight of the egg white cube after a fixed time it is a correct measurement because the greater the weight reduction of the egg white cube it means that it becomes smaller, right? After a fixed time, so the higher the enzyme activity as well. So you can see that final answer is B. And one thing I would like to mention is about the measurement of DV. DV. What is the difference between them? So we have DV, and then the measurement of the DV, and we have the IV, and then the manipulation of the IV. So. Actually, for these four items in the recent year, so it appears in the SBA new method. So because that's the way to guide the student to design their experiment easily. I'm saying in the past we just talk about DV and IV. We break it down. 
uh, to be smaller pieces for the student to understand easily or for the IV. For example, this part we are talking about the rate of the MSI uh, reaction or the MSI activity uh, in the different types of fruit juice or the rate of the MSI activity at a particular temperature. Actually, it is the effect and the cause it could be the different types of fruit juice or the different temperature. So how can you measure it? MSI activity is very ambiguous. Therefore, you need to know that how can we measure this dV. For example, the time taken for the disappearance of the egg white cube or the change in the weight of the egg white cube after a fixed time. So it is the measurement of the dV. This is something. and also the IV and how to manipulate it. So it is a good way for the SBA to tell you that all oh, how to design the experiment. However, the drawback is that it make the students feel confused. It's so confusing. What is DV? What is the measurement of DV? Now, based on the philosophy of the scientific investigation, DV is the variable to be measured. It's just that clear. Okay, so now in the experiment, what are you measuring? Oh, I, ca I can be measure the time taken for the disappearance of the egg white cube. For example, I use a timer or oh, uh, 50 minutes, 30 minutes, and then find that or oh, the egg white cube, okay, it disappear. Or I use the electronic balance to measure the change in the weight of the egg white cube. And the variable to be measured in the scientific investigation is the DV.